Jurgen Klopp entered Anfield with a daunting task resuscitating a Liverpool side that seemed frozen in time. Pre-Klopp, the Reds endured a period of stagnation, sinking into obscurity. Klopp, methodically reconstructing the fragments of Liverpool's fading glories, gradually restored them to their former status as British titans. Over nine seasons at the helm, Klopp orchestrated the delivery of seven prestigious trophies to the Anfield faithful. The question looms, how will Klopp's entire journey contribute to the resurgence of Liverpool's waning splendour? In the pre-Klopp era, Liverpool grappled with a lacklustre season under Brendan Rodgers. The promising strides made with Rodgers as coach transmogrified into a dismal showing, culminating in the Reds' exclusion from the Premier League's top four at the close of the 2014-2015 season. Despite a previous season where Rodgers guided the Cop squad in vying for the Premier League title, a string of poor outcomes plagued Liverpool at the onset of the 2015-2016 season. By the eighth week, the Reds languished in 10th place. Consequently, Brendan Rodgers faced swift dismissal as management sought to salvage Liverpool's performance. Jurgen Klopp promptly stepped into the coaching role, officially appointed on October 8, 2015. Unemployed for four months following his departure from Borussia Dortmund, Klopp, the normal one, assumed the reins with a determination to turn a new chapter. Motivated by the challenge of conquering the fiercely competitive Premier League, Klopp embarked on a journey to rejuvenate Liverpool's footballing prowess. Reflecting on the enormity of the task, Klopp acknowledged the Premier League's unforgiving nature, noting, the Premier League is one of the most difficult leagues in the world because five, six to seven teams can compete to win it, but only one will win. Undoubtedly, Klopp continues to grapple with the challenge of propelling Liverpool to immediate heights. The culmination of the 2015-2016 season saw the Reds settling for an eighth-place finish in the English league, indicating Klopp's initial struggles. The first half-season under Klopp's tenure was marred by misfortune, with the Cop squad faltering twice on the grand stage, the League Cup final and Europa League in the 2015-2016 season. In the subsequent 2016-2017 season, Jurgen Klopp orchestrated a substantial overhaul of the Liverpool squad. The Stuttgart-born strategist strategically acquired talents such as Sadio Mane, Loris Karius, Jorginho Wijnaldum, and Joel Matip, investing a noteworthy €79 million. Euros. Beyond recruitment, Klopp ruthlessly offloaded peripheral players, parting ways with Mario Balotelli, Christian Bentec, and Mamadou Sako, raking in a profitable €85 million Euros from player sales. This meticulous restructuring bore fruit as Liverpool ascended to the fourth spot in the Premier League standings with an impressive 76 points, outshining Manchester United, despite the Red Devils outspending them. Securing a top four finish allowed Liverpool to make a triumphant return to the Champions League, a feat that brought joy to Klopp. Expressing his satisfaction, Klopp affirmed, we are doing our best to get back into the Champions League. To further fortify their competitive stance, Liverpool exhibited a willingness to splurge in the 2017-2018 season, pouring €173 million Euros into bolstering the squad. Notable acquisitions like Virgil van Dijk and Mohamed Salah played pivotal roles, guiding Liverpool to the Champions League final. Despite falling short against Real Madrid, Klopp's tenure remained defended by Phil Thompson, the former Liverpool player and Sky Sport pundit. Thompson's optimism persists, anticipating imminent triumphs for the Reds under Klopp's leadership, even in the absence of silverware. There's no room for debate when it comes to Jurgen Klopp's impact on Liverpool. Klopp is transforming Liverpool, making them better than ever before, asserted Thompson. BBC Sport pundit Pat Nevin echoes this sentiment, defending Klopp's position despite the absence of titles. Acknowledging Liverpool's performance surpassing expectations, Nevin pointed out, Klopp and Liverpool have exceeded many people's expectations, despite having a thinner squad than the other big six members. Despite support from Phil Thompson and Pat Nevin, Klopp finds himself under pressure, having not secured a championship trophy in his three seasons at Liverpool. However, Klopp remains resolute in his commitment to guide the Reds to glory. Reflecting on his record, Klopp admitted, I lost six finals, three of them with Liverpool. That's not a record you can be proud of. I still want to win, and that's my responsibility. The 2018-2019 season signalled Liverpool's potential as true champions. In the Champions League semi-finals, Klopp's side exhibited a steely mentality, staging a remarkable comeback against FC Barcelona. 
Despite trailing 3-0 on aggregate after the first leg, Liverpool, fueled by Klopp's motivational prowess, eliminated Barcelona 4-3 overall. Jose Mourinho applauded Klopp's significant role in this historic turnaround, praising his unyielding spirit and high fighting power. I didn't expect this to happen, but Klopp deserves this comeback, remarked Mourinho. Securing a spot in the final after overcoming FC Barcelona in the semi-finals, Liverpool faced and subdued Tottenham Hotspur's resistance with a decisive 0-2 victory. Klopp's strategic approach effectively countered the Lily White's dominant play, showcasing Liverpool's efficiency in seizing opportunities with two goals from just three shots on target. The heroes of this triumph were none other than Mohamed Salah and Divock Origi. This achievement elevated Liverpool's Champions League collection to six trophies, solidifying Jurgen Klopp's ongoing dominance with the club into the 2019-2020 season. Following their Champions League success, Klopp set his sights on the elusive Premier League title in the 2019-2020 season. Still fueled by the desire to clinch the league after narrowly missing it in the previous season, Liverpool amassed an impressive 99 points, securing the title with dominance. In the 2018-2019 season, Liverpool fell short by just one point to Manchester City, despite maintaining a top position for 141 days and showcasing exceptional dominance with minimal goals conceded. Despite the tragic setback, Liverpool rebounded swiftly in the 2019-2020 season, securing the Premier League title with a substantial lead of 99 points, far surpassing second-placed Manchester City's 81 points. Notably, the COVID-19 pandemic did not halt Liverpool's triumph, as the Premier League opted to continue, ensuring the Reds claimed the championship after a 30-year wait. Kenny Delglish acknowledged Klopp's monumental contribution to this success, emphasising the coach's pivotal role in ending Liverpool's title drought. Reflecting on Klopp's impact over the last two years, a period marked by continuous positivity, a sentiment echoed by Liverpool legend Kenny Delgleish, who described Klopp as an amazing coach and noted that Klopp embodies everything Liverpool dreams of. The illustrious chapter of Jurgen Klopp's accomplishments with Liverpool appears to be drawing to a close, as the 56-year-old coach recently declared his decision to step down at the conclusion of the 2023-2024 season. This unexpected announcement follows Klopp's contract extension until 2026, leaving fans and observers taken aback by the early departure of the coach who resurrected the glory of the Reds over a commendable nine-season tenure. Addressing his departure, Klopp expressed, I can understand if the news is shocking to everyone. My energy may have been exhausted, and I know I can't do this job forever. This farewell declaration came ahead of Klopp fulfilling his pre-season ambition to target the Europa League title or secure Champions League qualification for the upcoming season. In an effort to leave a lasting legacy, Klopp has constructed Liverpool 2.0, introducing a cohort of new players such as Dominic Sobarsly, Alexis McAllister and Ryan Gravenberch to revamp the midfield. Notably, Klopp pledged not to coach any other Premier League club besides Liverpool. Klopp's coaching era at Liverpool has been adorned with numerous prestigious trophies. Over his nine-season tenure, he delivered seven trophies, including English League titles, the FA Cup, Champions League, UEFA Super Cup, and the Club World Cup. Klopp's influence extended beyond silverware, polishing Liverpool players like Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, Virgil van Dijk, and Trent Alexander-Arnold to reach their maximum potential, becoming pivotal figures in the club's recent successes. Recognising Klopp's impact, Pep Guardiola expressed sentiments of missing the warm competitive rivalry with Klopp. Reflecting on Klopp's legacy, Eric Ten Hag, the Manchester United coach, acknowledged Klopp's remarkable era, stating, Klopp has done an incredible job at Liverpool. The question now arises, with all his success, does Jurgen Klopp deserve to be regarded as the best coach in Liverpool's history?